Hello everyone, welcome to the video number 61 in Selenium C Sharp course. In this video, we will discuss about how to handle the invalid SSL certificate error in Chrome and Firefox in Selenium C Sharp. The agenda of this video is what is an SSL certificate? When SSL certificate becomes invalid, code demo on how to handle the invalid SSL certificate error in Chrome and Firefox using the Selenium C Sharp. What is an SSL certificate? So whenever we communicate from a browser to the server, we use a protocol called as a HTTP. So whenever the, we use the HTTP, the transaction happens using a plain text. It is applicable even for the sensitive data also. Say we are working with a banking application and in the banking application, we'll send the username and password. So that will go as a plain text. What if someone intercepts the data between the browser and the server, he gets access to the data. To avoid this, HTTPS was developed, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol with S. The S stands for Secured. We can get it by using a SSL certificate. SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer. It's a small data files that digitally bind the cryptographic key to an organization details. When installed in the web server, it activates the padlock and the HTTPS protocol allows the secure connection from the web server to a browser. Whenever we communicate from a browser to server, this HTTPS will encrypt the data and it will send. Even though the hacker intercepts the data, the data will be invalid for him because it will be in the form of a encrypted data. Let me show with a live example. So here I am using a State Bank of India website and you can see there is a padlock here. Whenever the presence of padlock, it shows that this is a HTTPS website. So you can also see that in the URL, the moment when I click on the address bar, it is showing like HTTPS protocol. So when I click on the padlock, it shows the certificate and it says valid. Let's click on it and here we'll get more details like issued to retail.onlinesba.com issued by Digicert Global CA. This is a certification authority. Digicert is a certification authority. They have given this certificate telling that this is an authentic website. And it's valid from February 18, 2020 to February 22nd, 2022. So now we have seen the valid certificate. Let's check a invalid certificate also. I have visited a website called as a expired.badssl.com. You can see here, instead of a padlock, it is showing a not secure. And here, even though it's a HTTPS, it is striped because the certificate is invalid. Let's click on this and you can see that certificate is invalid. And I click on it. What is the reason that it is invalid? because its validity is not there. You can see that date is expired. It was valid from April 9, 2015 to uh, April 13th, 2015. So it's a long back. It has been expired. So this is an expired certificate. So assume that our website, the website which we use it for a testing or which we use it for automation, it is also having a somewhat similar issue. So what type of issue? When does an SSL certificate becomes invalid? A site is using an expired certificate, just like what we have seen. Certificate doesn't include the website host name. The website URL, host name, and the certificate to which we have issued, they are not matching. Then also it will show it as invalid. And certificate is using an outdated algorithm and no longer certificate. I told you the data will be encrypted. For that encryption, it uses an algorithm. And if the algorithm is invalid, it will be considered as no longer trusted. So these are some of the reason to make the SSL certificate become invalid. For some reason, our application under test is having an invalid certificate. In that case, how do we handle it? So let's switch to Visual Studio. Let's create a test method. So I'll give the test method name as handle invalid SSL certificate 
error. I have added four lines of code from which a Chrome browser is launched. Window will be maximized and it will navigate to a URL which we are going to give now and it will close the browser. I have already added the required Selenium libraries and the Chrome and Firefox drivers to the solution. So this is the application under test. Let's copy the URL and paste here. And what shall we find from here? I mean, um, let's try to read some text out of it. So I will in, inspect this. I'll inspect the body of this. Here you can see that there is one H1 and it is under the div. It's having a text expired.badssl.com. So I'll copy this. I'll try to read that text. So I'll say, uh, console right line driver dot find element by dot id and id i just i have just copied dot text so let me run this in this code i have not managed the ssl certificate error let me build it this is the test method. I'm running it. Browser is launched and you can see that it has not navigated to the page which we are looking for. This is the actual page and it has not navigated to that page. It is the browser is showing a, the privacy error and the test case is also failed. And the reason it is failed, it shows that the element that we are looking for it is not all because it has now not navigated to that page at all so what happens with a firefox driver let's try that as well so this time i am using the firefox browser firefox browser has launched it is also showing the same or similar error message it has not navigated to a page where we are supposed to go in the in the visual studio also you can see that it is failed so how to fix this so let's go switch back to the chrome what we have to do is just we have to add a couple of lines of code we have to create an object of chrome options chrome options is equal to new chrome options and then i'll set a property Chrome options dot accept insecure certificates and I'll set it to true. This time I'll pass this object to the Chrome driver class. Now let me run this. You can see that browser launched. The test case is passed. If you look at the output, expert SSL the text is also read from that so now the browser closed very quickly so let me give a thread dot slip so that you can see the web page I'll give you say 2000 seconds 2000 milliseconds let's try that with a Firefox driver Firefox driver but it will not take the Chrome options object so we have to create a Firefox options object. So let me create that Firefox options. Same way how we created a Chrome options. You can say Firefox options here. Firefox options dot accept insecure certificate is equal to same thing true. And I'll pass this Firefox options object to the Firefox driver class. Let me run this. You can see that Firefox browser has launched and navigated to that page also. And test cases pass. And if I click on the output window, it has captured the text which was present in the div one. This is how we handle the invalid 
SSL certificate errors in Chrome and Firefox. The possible interview questions on this topic are what is an SSL certificate? How websites provide the security to sensitive data? When SSL certificates become invalid? How to handle the websites with invalid SSL certificates in Selenium? The notes used in this video and the code used in this video is available in the video description. You can post your questions in the comment box. And if you like this video, consider giving a thumbs up. Share our video in social media like Facebook, Twitter and WhatsApp. Subscribe to our channel. Like our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. Join our LinkedIn group. Thank you.